Inform in 100 is Solar News Channel's series of special reports which are aimed at helping voters, you and I, make an informed decision in the May polls. Today, Kimberly Go gives us a look at the groups that will guard the elections. Here's that report. The people's desire to actively take part in shaping national leadership dates back to the late 50s with the establishment of the Operations Registration Committee. There was rampant vote buying and violence at that time. The committee also helped women assert their right to vote. In the 60s and early 70s, the people behind the ORC formally organized into the Citizens National Electoral Assembly to exercise the right of suffrage on a wider scale. In October 1983, CNEA and other groups from the church, the business sectors, and constitutionalists banded together to form the National Movement for Free Elections. It is to be the first election watchdog in the country and in Asia. The first ever election Namfral monitored was the 1984 Batasan Pambansa election. Its commitment to clean the elections was highlighted during the 1986 SNAP presidential election. That I am ready to call a SNAP election. Namfral then was an accredited citizen's arm to conduct manual parallel counts. Over 5,000 volunteers offered their time, energy and life to preserve the sanctity of the ballot. Ferdinand Marcos was declared winner. Namfral's count, however, showed that Cory Aquino was the rightful president. We spelled the difference. No? We provided the proof no, to the people. Na ito yung bilang namin. Hindi pa nga natatapos ang nakita mo na yung laki na yung lamang. Ubusin mo pa yung natitira. Again, if you look at the Green Hills, the La Salle Green Hills gym, it's there. No? They, they, they even made a commemorative marker during Cory's death. No? Na ito talaga yung isa sa mga proof na siya yung panalo. That walkout eventually led to the EDSA People Power Revolt that ousted Marcos and installed Aquino as the country's president. The idea of creating the Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting came out in an informal discussion between then Manila Archbishop Jaime Cardinal Sin, Comelec Chair Heidi Yorak, and Ambassador Henrietta de Villa. They were in a meeting in the Cardinal's house at the time, and it was a comment that um, Commissioner Heidi Yorak made. She said, if you count, all the loose guns and loose firearms in the country, they would have more loose firearms than our legitimate um, army itself. So how will you defend for good elections? And then they were brainstorming and they said, you know, we can vote into government, godly people, um, people who will think of God, who will think of country. Its main thrust is voters' education. Media accounts indicate a clash between the PPCRV and NAMFRAL due to the apparent duplicity of functions. In the end, NAMFRAL withdrew its petition for accreditation. NAMFRAL says the COMELEC has chosen to deny it access to some data, which they felt defeats the purpose of being a watchdog. PPCRV stood as COMELEC's official citizen's arm. But that may be water under the bridge. PPCRV and NAMFRAL are about to work together in 2013. Both groups stress the significant role watchdogs play in the electoral process. I think um, as a citizen's arm, you monitor. And when you monitor and when you see something wrong, you have to make this, um, you have to communicate this as viably as you can, as widespread as you can, so that correct measures can be made. It's part of the checks and balances. No? Uh, there are other institutions no? that uh, would, would do that. No? The Senate is there with the Joint uh, Congressional Oversight Committee. You have two congressional committees related to suffrage and electoral reforms in both the lower house and in the Senate. You have citizens group like, like us no? and other groups no? who would participate in legislation and in not only in voters' education. That's why we're moving right now our, uh, from our task of watchdogs no? to partners no? in electoral reform. Kamalek, on the other hand, says watchdogs are there to keep the agency on its toes. The main goal of a watchdog is to keep Kamalek honest, they say. Well, they have their groups. Their groups who are able to, who are, because they are presenting a united front, you know, under a, a banner of, of a coalition or, or a group of, of individuals, who are able to address the Kamalek and to demand certain concessions from the Kamalek. 
the 2013 midterm elections, the Comelec has accredited three citizens' arms. The third group is One Vote Our Hope Movement, organized in February 23, 2009. One Vote has participated in the May 2010 national and local elections. With the presence of NAMPRAL, PPCRV, and One Vote, the question now is, can these watchdogs guarantee clean elections? You honest, orderly, peaceful elections. No? Kundi hope as a word itself. No? Meron tayong inaasahan na may pag-asa tayo na sa eleksyon na ito, makikita natin na may pagkakaroon ng buong bago. Bottom line is, we complement each other. Kasi there are some areas na hindi nila napuntahan, meron din tayong mga tao doon. So what's important is uh, more of the, the education, pagbabago sa pag-iisip. The Comelec says each citizen's arm has its own job. Here we're talking about accredited citizen's arms. We, we have as many of them as there are separate tasks that need to be accomplished. Namfrol doesn't see it as a problem as long as Comelec clearly defines each group's duties. De Villa meantime believes the more citizens' arm there is, the better. Both Comelec and Namfrol, however, still see the election to be tainted with violence. Uh, when they started moving yung automated elections uh, into automated elections, you see a lot of people, no, because they were not familiar with the machine or the system in itself, a lot of them, being Filipinos, no, magilas, no, try to look for ways and means how to beat the system. So we think that this will be um, the, perhaps uh, marked by a lot of vote buying and, and violence. Also, we expect to see a lot of online campaigning, um, both legitimate and on the sly. PPCRV agrees with Comelec there will be a lot of vote buying due to the automation of the elections. But despite this, all three agencies remain hopeful of achieving credible pulse this year. Kimberly Go, Solar News, 